What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction for y'all. And hey, we back with Go with Son Broku. But this one is his Vegeta song, One Last Final Flash. Now, hey, we still gonna continue. Keep on giving his respects to the almighty Dragon Ball lore guy. Basically, the creator. Of, you can say the creator who started it all for anime and such Akira Toriyama rest in peace to him and hey Shout out to Son Broku and such shout out to the the Son Broku universe and such for showing well on my first initial reaction Which was his Akira Toriyama tribute and such one last I think it was one last wish or so hold on cuz I have a Yeah, one last wish Hey since that was doing well and it's continued to be if you haven't go check it out and such so and he hit me up on Instagram and such and say hey since this one it's been going well not only for him and not only for my reaction and basically he's basically making more people want to reach out to me and such in his way hey either way I appreciate it either way and he sent me this for keeping it going cuz hey I figured since that's how it figured if he's doing that I might as well keep on showing love to him but even though it's just four songs on this channel we're gonna make sure we go through almost we're gonna go through all of them until when he drops more so we better check this out make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on my socials up there and without further ado let's get in video If I'm not mistaken, this is a middle song. be honest people it's best like this I'm not saying Vegeta is weak in any sorts of way right we not put no that type of slander on Vegeta but let's be honest and even some of the Vegeta fans can know too as good and as great as Vegeta is he's always gonna be known as number two to Goku or Kakarot and such right He's always going to be known as number two. That no matter how much power he gets, no matter how much training he is, he's always going to feel like he's still number two to come to Goku. And trust me, not only that relates to Go to Vegeta. That's mostly how certain like duos are in like either music, in in sports, anything, comedy, anything. As, as much as one is great in what they're doing such they're always gonna be like a sh they're always gonna be like number two to somebody who even though they work together and they're like a brotherhood you can say like brothers in a way is always that number one who's always everybody known for so hey but one thing's for damn sure we ain't sleeping on Vegeta that's one thing we not gonna do Nobody gonna sleep on Vegeta, that's for them.
part because he's the last of the same the last of the same princes the last the prince of all saints but he's the last of their kind and such because because of freaking Frieza blowing up their entire planet so I like that but hold on I want to look at some of these lyrics because I noticed me and such I've said it to myself I need to start making sure I bring recognition to lyrics and such because I get it I always am the type of person to just vibe it out and such always look at look at what's like being done in the video but most of the times I need to start realizing I need to start listening to more of what they're saying just more than what is like in the visuals because the visuals can be fire but I need to really peep some of the lyrics so hold on What do, every day I train to till I break my bones. But what there's power but what is power to protect if I'm all alone? Basically saying that I could have all of this power to myself, right? I could have all this power that I've been training for for since and such every single day, right? But who am I training for if it's not only for me? I needed to train because like how he got Boma and such and his son Trunks even though he sometimes shits on his son and in a way shits on his girl his wife let's be honest them are his legacy Trunks is his le legacy so as much as he shits on him most of the times he gotta realize that's his only legacy your dad died your whole entire f home planet is gone. So the last to your own, the person who's gonna carry your legacy is Trunks. So, hey, that's all. I, that's how I look at it. wasn't kidding when he said he makes the music similar to the likes of Fable and Divide music because this breakdown right here is definitely reminiscent of those <laughs> Son Broku, this is like another. You can say this is like another inch, another entry to a nerd core, to a nerd core and such. Cause Son Broku, I can see him collabing with the likes of Fable and Divide and such. Cause it's on the same level as them. And even so, if you look, cause think about it, the way how Fable makes his, listen to how Fable makes his rock. How Divide makes his rock, and then this one. Literally, all the three of them, right? Son Broku, F 
Babel and Divide. All of them make the same, you can say, genre of rock. But if you listen to each one of them separately, you can tell each one of them has a different type of rock and such. Because with Fables, his is more like that grungy, like that hard, like grunge, right? Like that hardness, right? Pause. No Diddy. Divide, he's on that like pop rock type vibe. But don't get it twisted. He can go into some metal too. And this one... In a way, it's if a combination of divide and fable, but would sound to sounds totally different from how these two are, from how those two are. So yeah, I could see Son Broku like if if hey, Son Broku, I know you're probably gonna watch this. If you if you and if you got like how you got Instagram or so, if you got Twitter too, I don't know. But if like how you got Instagram, hey. Tag this to Fable and Divide. Fable and Divide, if you would ever in the near future would want to collab with Son Broku, hit this nigga up. Because in a way, he makes the same kind of music y'all too. And I guarantee you, collabing with him will be fire. That's not my That's just me. Let me say is we I want to see a not even just two of them I want to see a triple threat with them three collabing together Fable Divide and Son Broku because I guarantee you it will go through the I guarantee you will go fire but either way hold on let me make sure I close this little screen recorder and such there we go but look either way y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below and hey if you made it to the end of this reaction, comment down below triple threat. And that makes me know you made it to the end. But it's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive. Keep the vibes up. This has been the reaction to the Vegeta song One Last Final Flash by Sun Broku. I'm out.